If you want it's Emily Fox, today's video is going to be my fall must-have. So basically makeup, fashion, lifestyle bits that I can't wait to use during the fall that I recommend also if you are interested. So let's go through them. By the way, I am doing a lipstick version solely of a lipstick video because every year it just gets too much otherwise. So I will link that once it's up, but it's coming up this weekend. So with the change of weather, my skin has been freaking out as always. So I am quite dehydrated. So I have been using something more and moisturizing on a daily basis. And it is the new Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation. I have been liking it more and more. At first I wasn't fully sure, but again, it has been growing on me. It is a pump squeezy tube mix type of foundation. The color is actually a good match for me. I have the shade 150, which actually, there you go. So it does dry a little bit darker than this. So it's a good match for me. I actually did a video where I was wearing this all day long against the new Maybelline foundation too. So if you want to see that, I will link it. But yes, I have been really enjoying this foundation and I will continue to do so during the fall for sure. The book channel is leaking. I'm trying to like display things in the back. <laughs> Let me go with eyeshadows. Because I discovered this very late, but at this point it is a classic. This is the Colourpop Give It To Me Straight Eyeshadow Palette. And as you can see, it's just one of those classic berry shades eyeshadow palette. It is very affordable because it is Colourpop. The shadows are actually really great quality. I like that they are pigmented, yet they blend very nicely. Sometimes, even high and brand, the matte shadows will not blend very nicely. These are just super easy to use. Definitely recommend these. But at this point, I feel like everyone has tried them, but you know. Super light swatch and you can see that they're very, very nice. So I will be getting a ton of use out of this. I actually just did a video where I was testing for the first time a bunch of Colourpop makeup and I fell in love with this. So we'll definitely keep using this a ton. Other eyeshadows that I recommend that are really affordable yet amazing the Wet n Wild Liquid Eyeshadows. They keep coming out with more shades. Some of them are limited edition, some of them are not. I'm super overwhelmed. Who else feels like that? I feel like every brand has been coming out with so much makeup, I can't keep up, especially Wet n Wild. And these are amazing. I'm very happy though that we do have a bunch of options, not gonna lie. Shell and Whistle, which is like a copper, very metallic, as you can see, eyeshadow. I wasn't sure what to expect whenever I tried these because I feel like a lot of liquid eyeshadows will tend to start creasing if they don't necessarily wear nicely, but these ones are actually really, really nice. I, I have also Cashmere Love. This one is more like a glitter eyeshadow, so it's not 100% opaque, but actually still pretty good, to be honest. I feel like they are kind of comparable to the Stila ones, so if you were looking for a cheap alternative, I would definitely recommend these. And this one, I don't know if this one was limited edition. Fairy Tale Ending, which I think that was one of their collections, so Fairy Tale one, so you can still find it. I definitely recommend that one too, because it's kind of a taupey lilac one with like a gold sheen to it but yes so basically if you find any of these in the store i would highly recommend you check those out i feel like a lot of brands have been coming out with liquid eyeshadows like these but these are actually some of my favorites uh let's go with blushes because i could have done a whole video just on blushes but you know i contain myself speaking of wet and wild I love these blushes, they're uh, color icon ones, but for some reason I wasn't super into Mellow Wine because I thought it was kind of dark and I feel like this is amazing on more tan skin, but I have been really enjoying this like all month long and I know I'm going to keep wearing this a ton for the fall, which look how pigmented this is. You need the lightest amount, like literally what I'll do, I'll take my brush, I'll tap, and then I'll tap on my arm to remove the excess before applying it to my cheeks because it is that pigmented. Like I swatched it and it's still all over my finger. It's gonna be stained forever. But if you use a tiniest amount and you blend it, which is super easy to do, it just looks amazing. I've been wearing it in the past couple of videos and I was getting a bunch of questions and it's this color. I think it was whenever I was doing the half half lipstick between the MAC one and a Maybelline one. And I adore this. So I don't know why I've been sleeping on this for the longest time, but I go through phases with blushes, but now it is definitely back in my rotation. Something that is always in my rotation, but I feel like it's been a while since I've mentioned it, so I'm doing it now. MAC blush, obviously, but this one is the color Gingerly, and Gingerly just screams fall for me. Every year, when it's that time of the year, I go back in my drawer and I grab it because it's the perfect brownier nude with a hint of warmth in it, like a little bit peachy. This will also suit a lot of different skin tone, although MAC has amazing color range, so if this one is too light for you, they will definitely have something that is just a shade darker, but look at this. It looks like nothing, I'm aware, but you know what? Let me apply a little bit more because this is just amazing. I shouldn't apply too much because I'm going out in a minute, but oh, it's so pretty. 
might be a bit warm for my lipstick, but it doesn't matter. So if you were looking for a new MAC blush, I would definitely recommend this one. It is a sheer tone blush, meaning that you have to build them up, but that's a good thing because you don't have to be really careful with these and this color. I know it doesn't look like much, but trust me, once it's on your face, you will not want to stop wearing it. And I also wanted to give a shout out to a Bare Mineral one because I feel like everyone is sleeping on that brand and this color again is a nude with a hint of peach in it and it is the color beige for days and oh, it's so pretty. They have a actually really intense berry shade that I would highly recommend too but I feel like this one is going to be my everyday color. You can see that it's straight up beige but trust me once again once it's on your face you will not want to stop wearing these Boring blushes as I call them, I love them. And this one is definitely one of my favorites. Definitely a color that I enjoy at this time of the year too. So yes, I'm gonna stop at three blushes, but trust me, blushes just in general are just a must all year round. But these are the colors I narrowed down for the fall. Let me talk about some skincare because the weather is changing, meaning that a lot more people are gonna be dehydrated or straight up dry skin wise. And I am combination, so my T-zone definitely gets oily, but I have dehydration mostly on my nose, but this time of the year my whole face is freaking out. So it is time for me to start using again my Dr. Jar uh, Ceramidin Liquid, which if you have combination skin or even acne prone skin, which I have, this is a must because it's a good amount, like a good balance between oil and water and anything will break me out. Everything will clog my pores except this. It is perfect. It just gives me everything. Doesn't make me oilier, but at the same time helps the dehydration and it will last you a long time. Actually, I used the first half last winter and I will use the second half this winter. It's definitely worth the money. I adore this. Sephora has it. I know YesStyle has it and they also have a sheet mask version. So I feel like during the fall, that's definitely where I will light up a candle, which I'll talk about in a second. And I will do sheet mask while watching Halloween movies, which again, if you have any recommendations, actually. I'm supposed to watch this weekend, uh, Ocus Pocus, because I've never watched it. So I will do that, I promise. But yes, I will definitely do that combo, candle, the sheet mask, the movie. But yes, uh, if you were looking at that brand, I definitely recommend these two products. I know a lot of people rave about the cream, so if you have drier skin, that would definitely be a more intense version, but for me, it's too much. This is just perfect. forgot to keep doing this, so let me put them here. <laughs> this isn't from this year because I am on a no candle buy because I need to finish the ones that I have with that side. This scent is always gonna be available, hopefully, because it is by far my favorite one, and it is autumn, which I'm pretty sure I talk about it every year and I will continue to do that until I die. Uh, I feel like everyone likes leaves, but I feel like that one can be quite intense. This is the more gentle version. Uh, this basically smells like you're walking in the forest. Like it smells, I think they say like apple, fig, eucalyptus and balsam. So straight up smells like forest with apples. It's just amazing. I can't be without this. If slash when I finish all the ones that I have, I will always have a candle from that scent because it is by far the best. I also really like the uh, mahogany teak wood if you're looking for like a sexy men scent. And uh, hopefully that year they also bring back the uh, mah mahogany apple, which is like a sexy man eating apple, which yes. So yes, autumn for sure is something that you need to go in store and smell. So good. Soon you will see it burn in my background. <laughs> Quick shout out to a perfume. I need to buy the full size, but I, I'm trying to finish the tiny size first, and it is the Atelier Cologne Vanille Sensé perfume, which I'll put the real bottle on the screen. This smells amazing. I feel like vanilla can be overly sweet very easily, but this one is just the right amount of sweetness. Like it's not smelling like candy or anything. It's just sexy vanilla without being too intense. It lasts really well on my skin. Sometimes I feel like some uh, perfume will start smelling kind of weird on me. Uh, so I tend to just spray it on my clothes instead, but this one I can actually wear it and it just lasts all day. I get so many compliments on it and it's just a must again during the fall winter. So if you were looking at it, I definitely recommend it. Not that you would know right now because I'm rocking that weird <laughs> crazy cat lady shirt, but I'm usually someone that wears classic pieces, neutrals, or you know, some colors, but not usually huge patterns, but uh, during the fall, right now, I'm very, very obsessed with anything snake print, especially this neutral grayish snake print. <laughs> Clearly, I've been accumulating a bunch of pieces like that or even uh, belts 
that are just like, it just gives you some texture. Like even the black ones that are like snake print, just been really enjoying these. But this one piece is from Dynamite. I've talked about it a ton, so I'm gonna stop. But any even shoes, it's just such an easy way to add uh, a pop of color, just something more interesting. So basically for once, I will be rocking patterns. Uh, the second thing I wanted to talk about is plaid. Obviously every fall, I will wear plaid. It is the law here, uh, but I got this during the summer and I have already worn this so much that I decided to get a second one. So, you know. Uh, this is from Yes Style and it is a humongous uh, button down with like snap buttons. Plaid shirt and it is humongous. It is a one size but it fits super nicely. It's very soft, very comfortable. It's actually quite warm too. And uh, I've already been wearing this so much that that's why I decided to get a second color. And actually when I ordered this, I realized that they have a third one which means I will most likely need to get that one too because I am always wearing this in the house. It's cold, so I'll definitely throw on something and it's been so easy to just throw this one on. And now that it's fall, I'm actually gonna be able to wear it outside with some leggings, you know, a t-shirt or something, something to just throw on for extra warmth and comfort. But yes, very soft, highly recommend this. It is actually one of their best sellers, so I'm not alone here. Uh, let me talk about some accessories because beret. Are you supposed to say it French or not? Beret or like beret? I don't know. Um, but online you can find a million, like every color you can think of because I do have a few shades. I have a black one, I have a mustard one, obviously, and a lavender one. And then I have this cute little mauve, like dusty pink one, which, uh, oh yeah, this is not working whatsoever. <laughs> Let's pretend this never happened. You can find whichever shade that you want for about like five bucks. So if you were looking for cute accessories, I definitely recommend a cute little beret because I've been obsessed with these and I will be wearing some all fall long. Oh, also, I wanted to give a shout out to something. I kind of wanted to wear it right now, but I thought it would be a bit much with the shirt. So I have these earrings. <laughs> Hopefully you're not scared of spiders because I've been freaking myself out by just leaving them places and forgetting that I have those earrings and being like, oh my God, there's a huge spider. But no, it's actually just a very disturbing earring. Let me actually uh, put this on. So I... <laughs> Look, this is what they look like on. They are very, very scary and I'm enjoying this a little too much. So I'm gonna be wearing this for fall and probably Halloween because I wanna creep everyone out. But yes, I wanted to mention these because they're cute. Last but not least, I wanted to give a shout out to a book, which I am planning on doing this weekend on my book channel, a video about all the Stephen King books that I've read. So if you're looking for more recommendations, you should definitely check that out. It is Books with Emily Fox, but I wanted to talk about this one because it is my favorite one. This is The Long Walk and technically he wrote this under the name Richard Bachman. And this isn't that scary slash that fall, but I feel like for me, fall is like mystery thriller, horror. And this one is kind of a dystopian horror thriller-ish. <laughs> uh, you're following a group of 100 teenage boys who are going on The Long Walk, which is an event that happens once in a while. And basically, they just have to walk until there's only one person standing and that person can wish for whatever they want. So you kind of get to see them going through this, follow one of the characters' slow descent into like madness of having to walk and everyone that can't keep walking gets shot in front of everyone. So it just becomes worse and worse and you will feel absolutely exhausted whenever you actually read this. It is a fairly short book. The edition that I have has almost 400 pages, but again, it is like pretty short. Uh, but you will not be able to put this down and you might be traumatized a little bit, but yes, I definitely adore this. This is by far my favorite book by him. So I really want to talk about it because I don't feel like I hear enough people talk about this one and I really like it. So those are my fault must have. So please let me know in the comment section yours, whether it's clothes, makeup, skincare, I want to know and I will be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out. Don't forget to give this one a big thumbs up and subscribe because you definitely don't want to miss my fall favorite lipstick for fall also that's coming up this weekend. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.